Okay, scenario number four. I think this is one of the popular ones that have been requested. It's a semestered course using term weights. But in this example, um, I'm using Q1 and Q2 is set as 35%, but the exam is worth 30% of the overall mark. So this first method that I'm going to show is if you're using total points. So this is probably the easiest way to, to set this. Um, I'll show category weights in the, in the next example. But for this one, it's for teachers using total points. So we have Q1, 35%, Q2, 35%, and our exam is 30%. So how do we set that up in Gradebook? Let's take a look. So in Gradebook, how we would do this for uh, using total points as our, as our means of acquiring a mark, I would go to Grade Setup. And we're going to ignore the F1, S2, Q3, Q4, and we're just going to focus on a semester course, course, which is S1, Q1, and Q2. So I'm going to start with Q2. And the easiest way is we're going to use category weights, but and I'm going to add the category for Q1. I'm only going to add one. So it's Q1 assessment. So in this category of Q1 assessment, this is where you're going to put all your, your quarter one marks. Now, if you've already used uh, total points, and we're in January here, um, whatever category you used, um, it doesn't matter. I'm just using Q1 assessment as an example. So I'm going to save that. Q2, I'm going to change this to category weights. And I'm going to add Q2 assessment. And I'm going to put, actually I'll put a weight of 100 here. It doesn't matter which weight you put, There's, it's going to be the only category in Q2. And I'll go back to Q1, put a weight of 100 here as well. So now I have Q1 assessment in Q1. I have Q2 assessment in Q2. So what I'm going to do now is in S1, I'm going to use category weights. And I'm going to add my Q1 assessment, my Q2 assessment marks, and my exam. And this is where I'm going to say my Q1 is worth 35. My Q2 is worth 35. And my exam is worth 30% of my overall mark. So during so if you use just these two categories and your exam, um, this is how you should be able to weight your exam outside of Q1 and Q2.